Good afternoon, everyone. I'm very excited to be here to uh, introduce uh, Nick Benito. And uh, when you talk about Nick, we're talking about a player that we uh, identified from early on in this process, a player that uh, in college was a highly productive pa uh, pass rusher, um, highly productive versus the run. And uh, I really believe this man is going to come in here. He's going to work his butt off. He's uh, the character that we're looking for. And he's going to really add a lot to our team. Uh, when we talk about affecting the, the quarterback, this is the type of player we're talking about. So uh, let's welcome in Nick Benito. Morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Jason Taylor, uh, who you got to work with, not a lot of high school seniors to work with, uh, Hall of Fame pass rusher. What did you learn um, from that relationship working with Jason? Um, just how to really just approach the game. Um, taught me a lot of life lessons as well. Um, but yeah, just you know, learning from a guy like that who, who's done great things in the NFL, and you know he's a great person as well. So you know, just learning ball from him and just learning how to you know approach the game at a young age was was really the main thing that I could definitely take away from being with him. So. I mean, uh, it's just crazy because, you know, you know, like I told the coaching staff already, it's just, you know, a guy that, you know, we're weight room partners in the, in the weight room. We, we always conditioning partners, always pushing each other, um, best friends off the field. So uh, it's kind of surreal just to, like, have a guy like that, you know, just, you know, come in with me and, and, and be a part of a, a great franchise. And, you know, it's just it's, it's, it's still unreal, man. I just can't believe it happened. But you know, I'm happy that he's here and you know, I know he's going to work for sure. Yeah, um, I feel like definitely uh, my approach uh, changed a little bit to, to the game. And, and definitely, you know, with the help of my coach that came in that year, Coach Jamar Kane, um, taught me a lot about the game, taught me a lot about, you know, what it means to be, you know, a, a good edge rusher and, and, and how to affect the quarterback, how to affect, you know, plays in the run game. And, you know, just using my skill set to the best of my ability, you know, he, he taught me a lot of that. So. Um, just him and, and the work I put in, you know, it was definitely a big con uh, contribution to, you know, why I had that jump. So. Yeah, it was crazy. Uh, I talked to him on the phone last night, and he's just an extremely humble dude. Um, you know, he was excited for me. You know, he's a guy, you know, he could have done anything, really been doing whatever he wanted to do. But, um, you know, he's a legend in the game, so... Just getting that call from him, you know, knowing how much you know I meant to him coming into here, and you know, I just want to you know pay him back in tenfold and and just work as hard as I can coming to the building day one. So, um, you got to have a great motor, got to be relentless. Um, a lot of people just, just thinks it's just moves and you know talent. You know, you got to have the one two. You got to have uh, that relentlessness in you to to be disruptive in any way. So. Oh, I feel like that's that's what I have, and you know that's what I, I feel like I can bring to the team for sure. Nick, congratulations! What makes you one of the best pass rushers in the Um, just some of the things I was talking about now. Just my relentlessness, my want to. Um, you know, I have a, a good get off as well. Um, it's a lot of things that 
you know, you look for in, in good pass rushers. You know, I feel like I have some of those traits. Still have a long way to go to to become, you know, one of those greats in the NFL. And, you know, a guy that can be talked about as one of the best in the league. But, um, you know, I'm working towards it, and I have a lot of the traits. So I just got to keep working. Nick, uh, beyond Russ, there's a lot of Florida guys here on the Broncos roster. Have you heard from any of those yet? Yeah, I actually talked to Pat last night. Uh, me and him were chopping it up for a little bit. You know, we were always cool in high school. You know, we always had a... Uh, kind of the rival schools in the way, you know, those top dog programs down there. So just knowing him from that and getting to talk to him last night, you know, he's excited and, you know, we're both just ready to get back to work. You know, so. Nick Sean Keeler, the Denver Post. You, you were a pretty good roof player back in the day. Yeah. You talk about how some of those skills have translated and helped you evolve over the years. How much you miss that? Yeah, uh, no, it's been, I feel like it definitely helps with, with with football just because, you know, having the guard guards back in the, in the days, you know, you're going to have to have quick feet, you know, you're going to have to have great lateral movement. And I feel like a lot of those things come into play when, you know, it comes to pass rushing and, you know, getting guys off their spots, you know, beating guys to spots, um, you know, making guys move in space, uh, making plays in space as well and having to drop in coverage. So a lot of those things in basketball have definitely, I feel like, translated to football as well, so. Yeah, um, any move where I can just beat a guy off the edge, um, whether it's dipping and ripping, ghost long arm, or, you know, a chop, a cross chop, anything like that. Um, anything, any one of those moves is definitely, you know, I feel like one of my favorites. But I'm um, just trying to work for everything, uh, work at any, any move I can get in my bag. Just help me, you know, get more pass rush moves in my repertoire, so. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that uh, just for me in the back of my mind, but you know, duh. yeah, I got a couple that you know I'm ready to get after for sure. So, yeah, I mean, it's just. I've been watching him since I was, you know, young and, you know, really uh, in the game. Um, just watching him, he was a guy that, you know, I've always looked at as, you know, the, the pinnacle to what a great edge rusher is. And, and he's the standard of, of what, you know, I want to be. So um, just watching him, you know, just seeing, you know, um, a lot of the things that he's done in the game, you know, I, I look for just things that I want to accomplish. And um, I know I'm going to have to work to get to where he's at and, and, and all sex is the, sex, the success that he's had. But, um, just, you know, some great things that he's done in this game. You know, it's definitely, I took a lot from him for sure. Oh, most definitely. Um, especially when it's a guy that, you know, people can see as a, as an edge rusher. Um, they don't really, you know, have that aspect of him being able to drop in coverage and make plays doing that too. So um, it's definitely a thing that can help this defense and uh, a thing I'm willing to do, a thing I'm used to doing. So, I mean, just having that aspect with, with guys that in the room that, that can drop and, and be able to rush, you know, it's a great ability to have. So. Nick, what was uh, yesterday like for you and your family? Was where you were taken? I'm sure it was a, a great day, but I, I do wonder if it, if it was a conversation about you going a little bit higher or maybe falling back. I'm curious how that was for you and your family yesterday. Yeah, there was conversations, but at the end of the day, none of that matters. You know, I'm here, you know, right now with, with great coaches, you know, great guys upstairs, um, great teammates. You know, when I got that call, uh, nothing else really mattered. Didn't matter where it was. Um, I was just happy that I got the call. And, and now you know, I'm with a great organization. I'm just ready to go to work for sure.